I love living in Wyoming, and I think you live here too, but I am all about informed decisions. So if you're considering moving to Wyoming, you might wanna see how Wyoming stacks up. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team, and I think we should take a look at a that some people might think is a lot like Wyoming. Let's take a look at how the same and different Texas is from Wyoming. Let's start with basics. Wyoming is under 98,000 square miles and Texas is just over 268,500 square miles. Texas is over two and a half times the size of Wyoming. Texas is actually the second largest state in the US when it comes to the area. Now, if you remember, Wyoming has a pretty small population. So it's the lowest in all 50 states. So Texas definitely has more people than Wyoming's roughly 579,000 people. But how many more? Texas has over 29.5 million people. Just a few more people than Wyoming. Okay, just kidding, it's tons more people. Texas is also the second largest state by population as well as size. When it comes to size, Texas definitely wins. And when it comes to population density, Texas wins there too. It all depends on what you're looking for. If you want a large state with a lot of people, then Texas is a state for you. If you want a pretty big state, Wyoming is 10th when it comes to area, with fewer people than Wyoming is the state for you. Okay, so way more people, larger space. What else do we consider when comparing these two states? What about median income and median home price? According to homesnacks.com, Texas is ranked several places lower than Wyoming. Texas is 40th and Wyoming is 22nd. I know their list takes more into consideration than just median income and home price, but let's take a look on how these two statistics stack up for Texas versus Wyoming. Wyoming has a median income of just over 65,000, which is a bit higher than Texas median income of 63,826. So pretty close really. Let's take a look at median home prices. Texas median home price is 187,200. If you compare it to Wyoming's 228,000, it looks like Texas pulls ahead in this contest when it comes to median home price and income. While we're on the numbers, let's look at taxes. If you remember, one of the advantages of living in Wyoming is that there isn't a state income tax here. Texas doesn't have a state income tax either, so that is a draw. What about sales tax? Wyoming has a state sales tax of 4%, and then each district can add additional on top of that. Most counties have a sales tax of four to 6%, with Jackson being the exception at 8%. On the other hand, Texas sales tax is 6.25%. Districts can add up to two additional percentage, so some areas have a sales tax of 8.25. So what about property tax? Wyoming gets another win column on this one at an average of 0.51 compared to Texas 1.8%. So in spite of the lack of state income tax, it looks like at least tax wise, Wyoming wins this one. Since we're talking taxes and numbers, we should probably touch on the fact that Wyoming is one of the best states for business, at least when it comes to taxes. According to taxfoundation.org, it is actually the number one state when it comes to business climate where Texas comes in at number 13. Not bad, but number one is better. According to fool.com, Texas comes in at number 11, just two spots lower than Wyoming's number nine, best places to start your small business. As usual, it depends on the source and what measure to see which is better for business. So number one versus 13 and number nine versus 11, I have to say Wyoming might win this one as well. I suppose depending on what your business is, if you need more customers locally, Texas would come ahead in this one by sheer number of people as their population is way higher. One advantage of a larger population. That is part of the consideration that visualcapitalist.com looks at in their best states for business ranking among other factors. On this comparison, Texas comes in at 29 and Wyoming at 32. So this list shows Texas having the advantage. So as always, you will need to look at all the factors to decide what factors are most important for you and your business. Well, Wyoming appears to come out ahead when it comes to the numbers on paper, but living somewhere is much more than just the number. I've said before that Wyoming is full of friendly, helpful people. So since I don't live in Texas, I had to go to the internet to see about the people in Texas. According to Big7Travel.com, Texas sneaks by Wyoming when it comes to friendly. Apparently, Texas comes in at number four versus our ranking of five. According to that list, even the large cities in Texas have friendly, welcoming people with small town vibes galore. I'm still partial to Wyoming, but this pretty decent ranking where I'm concerned. But I guess, howdy y'all, 
boasts Texas into the fourth position. Okay, so speaking of cities, you know that Wyoming has a couple of larger cities and definitely some small towns. Does Texas? We know that Houston has a population of over 2.3 million, which is over four times larger than the population of the entire state of Wyoming. So you really can't compare when it comes to large cities. If a large city is what you want, Texas would win hands down. Houston is Texas' biggest city. The next largest is San Antonio with over 1.4 million friendly people. The top six largest cities in Texas are all larger than the population of the entire state of Wyoming. So if you want a big city, you will definitely want Texas over Wyoming. As a matter of fact, Texas' top 62 cities all have more people than Wyoming's largest Cheyenne. Texas has several mid-sized cities as well with similar population size to Cheyenne and Wyoming's top cities. But what about the smallest city? Wyoming's smallest has a population of four. Texas' smallest city, a population of three. So I'm not sure who wins this one. Simply looking at the list of cities by population, you will see that both states have a mix of small and medium cities. But Texas definitely has more cities and more people overall. Wyoming has 175 cities compared to Texas 1,462 cities. Okay, so what about the climate? Is Texas just hot all the time, or is it just a generalization? Since Texas is so large, you end up with a wide variety of weather, but most of the state has mild winters with little to no snow. The temperatures can range up to 20 degrees in variation from the northmost tip to the southern end of Texas. With such a varied climate, it is hard to compare the overall state to Wyoming. For example, the north part of the state has a continental climate and the rest can be categorized as subtropical. Some areas of Texas have annual precipitation of only 10 inches and some over 80 inches a year. Comparatively, Wyoming is a dry state with about 10 inches of average precipitation a year. Texas temperatures vary depending on where in the state you are. Summer average temperatures range from 67 to 97 degrees and winters from 25 to 63, depending where you are. Wyoming summers range from 70 to 90 degrees and winters from zero to 18. And of course, what we just experienced at negative 42. So Texas has a broad range of temperatures, but definitely warmer on average than Wyoming. If you wanna experience true four seasons, I think Wyoming is the perfect place for you. So what about political climate? Wyoming is definitely known as a conservative state as a whole, with pockets of more liberal areas. Texas is also a pretty conservative state, at least since the 1990s when the Republican Party became the dominant party in the state. Wyoming comes in at number one on the chart of most Republican states, and Texas comes in at number 10. Like Wyoming, people in Texas are pretty fond of individual liberty. So at least politically, there are a lot of similarities between Wyoming and Texas. Okay, so the last comparison I want to make is about the great outdoors. Wyoming definitely has a wider variety of outdoor activities as we have all four seasons, including winter and all winter sports you want. Okay, when it comes to national parks, the two states tie with an even two. State parks, well, Texas wins that one. They have 95 state parks compared to Wyoming's 12. Texas also has the coast and access to the ocean, which of course landlocked Wyoming does not have. Wyoming has some great beaches, but they're all around several of our amazing lakes. If there is a non-winter outdoor activity you want to try, you can probably do it in either Texas or Wyoming. So this has been very interesting to compare these two. I knew they had some similarities and differences. Hopefully this helps you make a decision between the two states. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button so you don't miss any of our videos. We love hearing from all of you. We thank you for watching our videos and we can't wait to talk to you. If you're looking for a home in the state of Wyoming, I would love to help you. Remember, we want you to love where you live.